Welcome back. At 87, veteran politician Andy Tibari has a new son. The DNA test has confirmed that the senior Congress leader is the biological father of Rohit Shekhar, who took him to court. The results of the DNA test were presented to the Delhi High Court. 32-year-old Mr. Shekhar dragged Tiwari to court five years ago. The politician has tried repeatedly to have the case dismissed. His lawyers argue that a DNA test would amount to an invasion of his privacy, but the court had dismissed those arguments. ये तो आपने देखा है कि उन लोगों ने कैसे सारी प्रक्रिया को तोड़ मोड़ के और उसका पूरा पूरा दुरुपयोग किया और हमें यातना देने के लिए और परेशान करने के लिए अब आगे जब ये साबित हो गया कि आप ही उनके पुत्र हैं क्या आप बाकी बाकी के जो अधिकार हैं उनके लिए लड़ाई लड़ेंगे कानूनी जितने अधिकार बनेंगे मैं लड़ाई वड़ाई नहीं लड़ूंगा मैं याचिका डालूंगा जो करना है वो आदरणीय कोर्ट करे हमारी स्थिति जो है समाज के सामने स्पष्ट हुई है कि जो कुछ हम कह रहे थे वो सत्य जो कुछ हम कह रहे थे वो सत्य कह रहे थे और आज जो विजय है वो सत्य की हुई है मेरी व्यक्तिगत विजय नहीं है सत्य की विजय है क्योंकि मैंने सत्य के रास्ते को अपनाया और मैं कहूंगी कि हमारे ऐसे ऐसे रेडिकल जजमेंट्स आए और नायन तिवारी जैसे ढीट व्यक्ति को जिसने कोई कसर नहीं छोड़ी लंबित करने में प्रक्रिया को उसको भी अंत में बाध्य होना पड़ा इन ए ट्रेजिक इंसिडेंट इन उत्तर प्रदेश सिक्स चिल्ड्रन डाइड आफ्टर द स्कूल रूफ कोलैप्स द इंसिडेंट टुक प्लेस इन जलीलपुर एरिया ऑफ बिजनौर डिस्ट्रिक्ट क्लासेस वर ऑन द वे इन द फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड व्हेन द रूफ कोलैप्स एट अ प्राइवेट स्कूल डिस्ट्रिक्ट मैजिस्ट्रेट सारिका मोहन सेट दैट 25 चिल्ड्रन वर इन द क्लासरूम व्हेन द ट्रेजेडी टुक प्लेस यहाँ प्राइवेट एडेड स्कूल जलीलपुर ब्लॉक में चल रहा था उसमें अभी बताया गया है कि एक दो साल पहले ही एक ऊपर स्टोरी ऐड की गई थी स्कूल में और ऊपर की छत गिरने से जो नीचे कमरा था उसके ऊपर गिरी है उससे करीब 25 बच्चे जो बैठे थे वो नीचे दब गए थे अभी रेस्क्यू का काम चल रहा चल रहा है लगभग पूरा हो गया है लेकिन अभी मलबा छाना जा रहा है अगर कोई बच्चा शेष रह गया हो आफ्टर फुट स्टैचू ऑफ मायावती Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav has ordered his government departments to find another statue of his political rival and install it at the same location. The statue was set up by Mayawati during her term as Chief Minister and her party BSP is anything but happy. The party has accused the Akhilesh government of orchestrating the attack on the statue. The party has also demanded armed guards to be posted to protect the memorials created by the former Chief Minister. हमने ये भी मानी राजपाल जी को ज्ञापन में लिखा है कि सभी जो भी इस गलत कृत्य में शामिल थे उन सभी को तत्काल गिरफ्तार किया जाए और प्रदेश में पूरी तरीके से कानून व्यवस्था ध्वस्त है जंगल राज कायम है कहीं भी कोई सुरक्षित नहीं है इसलिए हमने राजपाल महामहिम राजपाल जी से यह भी अनुरोध किया है कि वो रा, राष्ट्रपति शासन के लिए अपनी सिफारिश केंद्र को भेजे हम अपेक्षा करते हैं कि महामहिम राजपाल जी प्रदेश में चुस्त दुरुस्त व्यवस्था लागू कराने के लिए अपने स्तर से कार्य करेंगे और साथ ही साथ प्रदेश में स्थापित जितने भी महापुरुषों के नाम पर स्मारक उद्यान मैदान ग्रीन पार्क और इको गार्डन आदि स्थापित हैं उन सब की सुरक्षा बहुत ही चुस्त दुरुस्त कराएंगे जो उसमें कटौती की गई सुरक्षा में उसको पर्याप्त सुरक्षा बल मुहैया कराएंगे प्रेसिडेंशियल न्यूज नाउ प्राइम मिनिस्टर मनमोहन सिंह कॉल्ड ऑन प्रेसिडेंट प्रणब मुखर्जी टुडे फॉर देयर फर्स्ट मीटिंग सिंस लाटर टुक ऑफिस ऑन वेनजडे डॉक्टर सिंह ड्रोव डाउन टू राष्ट्रपति भवन फॉर द मीटिंग विद मुखर्जी विच ऑफिशियल डिस्क्राइब एस अर्ट सी कॉल and the president has confirmed that he will travel to patna after the 15th of august bihar chief minister nitish kumar announced that a formal invite was sent to pranab who accepted it the new president will help inaugurate the agricultural road map chalked out by the chief minister the plan is to double food production through a new green revolution 24 departments which include agriculture irrigation dairy will collectively spend 1.5 lakh crores in the next 5 years Ahead of the Himachal Pradesh Assembly elections, former Union Minister and Congress leader Veer Badra Singh has resigned from all key party posts. He sent his resignation to Congress President Sonia Gandhi yesterday 
but it has not yet been accepted. Mr. Singh is apparently upset as he was not consulted before naming Sheila Dixit as the head of the screening committee for candidates. Veer Badra also backed out of a Himachal Congress meet in Shimla today. At a time when Karnataka is reeling under a severe drought-like situation, the worst in 42 years, the state government's contingency plan, it seems, is to leave the matter to God. 34,000 temples across Karnataka performed special ceremonies to appease the rain gods. This after the Endowments Ministry of the Karnataka government ordered that each temple may spend 5,000 rupees for these prayers. The entire cost of this exercise has cost the exchequer 17 crore rupees. The move has been slammed by desperate farmers in the state who say that the huge sum could have been put to better use. Keeping in view the decline in overall production during the year due to deficient rainfall, the government has planned to distribute pulses and edible oils at subsidized rates. Minister of Food Supplies and Consumer Affairs K.V. Thomas disclosed this at a CII conference in Chennai. He said that the empowered group of ministers would discuss this proposal and also other schemes to tackle the drought-like scenario in many parts of the country. Instead of 10 rupees subsidy, it can be 20 rupees subsidy. And we give to the BPL families. There is an BPL families. Another scheme is supplying edible oil with a subsidy of 15 rupees per kilogram. And that scheme will continue. We'll have the same production as it was in the last year of food grains and sugar. But the areas of production of pulses, oil seeds, will have a, an effect, impact on this. We have some schemes already existing which will make available pulses and edible oil to the people at a comfortable price. Moving on, Psycho Stapleton, the Briton who shot dead 23-year-old Indian student Anuj Budhve in an unprovoked attack on the 26th of December 2011, was given a life term after being held guilty of murder. The UK court has said that a parole for Karen Stapleton will be allowed only after 30 years. Anuj's father Subhash Bidwe said that he was satisfied with the court's verdict. The trial, which lasted a little over one month, was attended by Bidwe's parents, who had arrived from Pune. Staying with international news, Indian and Indonesian foreign ministers pressed for the need to have a code of conduct to patch up an internal rift within the Asian group over territorial disputes in the South China Sea. Indonesia's Foreign Minister Martin Natalegwa held bilateral talks with his Indian counterpart SM Krishna in New Delhi and expressed serious concerns over the matter. Natalegwa said that the implementation of the Code of Conduct would lead to the prevalence of peace in the region. The South China Sea has become Asia's biggest potential military flashpoint. We do actually need a code of conduct for the South China Sea, uh, a, some, a, some kind of a rule of the road type of regime so that the uh, potentials for conflict in the region can be managed and even more, better still, the potential for conflict can be resolved and that the countries of the region can continue to enjoy, can continue to enjoy the peace dividend that all of us have enjoyed for many decades now, uh, thanks to the Asia-Pacific's uh, benign uh, uh, environment that allows all of us to concentrate on economic development rather than any other uh, uh, lesser pursuits. India supports freedom of navigation and access to resources in accordance with principles of international law. It is our earnest desire that these principles should be respected by all. We urge the parties concerned to engage in discussions to address this issue and hope that progress will be made on this important matter with respect to implementation of guidelines to the 2002 Declaration of the Code of Conduct on South China. It's another short break for now, but we'll be right back soon.